What's on my desk today? Well, today I thought we could interview ChatGPT and see if the computer is better at prediction than a human. Okay, so when you guys come onto my channel, one of the big things that people like to watch is the monthly predictions that I do. And I do that by studying quite a few things. I use my favorite tool, Sidereal Vedic Astrology. That's the main part of the show. But I also, you know, am a little bit up to date with news headlines, alternative news, you know, getting a feel for what's in the air, what people are thinking, what people are into. So there's a lot going on. There's a lot of things that I synthesize when I come up with those videos. So let's ask ChatGPT, what is going to happen in May 2023? All right. As an AI language model, I don't have access to information about future events that have not yet occurred or been announced. How interesting. So the flat answer is, well, the answer to the question, will chat GPT take over my job? No, it's not going to be able to do that because it's really not giving any answer here at all. My training data only goes up until 2021 and I do not have the ability to predict the future. Wow. Okay, so that's a flat out no, I will not take this on. However, you can keep an eye on news and current events to stay informed about any upcoming events or announcements in May 2023. Wow. All right. Well, that is interesting. So I think what I do here is very safe. What I thought I would do, though, is I thought it would be quite fun to get a tarot deck and see if it wants to, you know, perhaps come up with uh it, it might want to let's see let's see what will it do with tarot so let's draw three cards oops i'm going to put those back in oh do you know what those are three right there i'll take them all right even though these are kind of interesting but let's go for it so we've got five of swords okay take them in the order i saw them we've got the wheel of fortune and we have got the queen of wands so how I would interpret this is I would say, now how would I interpret this if I was working one-on-one -on -one with a person? I would be looking at so much more than just these three cards. These three cards would be used as a bit of a tool, but I, especially if I'm present with that person or maybe I'm just with them through Zoom or maybe I'm just with them in an audio capacity or let's say I'm doing some kind of live session. I would be factoring in a lot of other things. Um, I would be factoring in as well information that you give me. Uh, if you don't give me any information, that is information, right? So there's lots of things that I factor in. But let's say I'm just going to read these three cards just straight and there's nobody here. So I'll just read these cards as I would. I would say that after some kind of conflict, uh, because this is a conflict card. There's some sort of shift in energy is how I'm going to read that, the wheel of fortune. There's some kind of shift in energy. It's like the wheel turns and you emerge victorious is how I'm going to read these. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what the computer does with that. The other thing is in a client consultation, there's a lot more going on than just, you know, looking at the definitions of cards. I imagine that that's what the computer is going to do. It's going to tell me what the definitions of the cards are. But what I'm interested in is I'm interested in the synthesis. How does the computer stitch things together to bring an overall view? So how would you interpret these three tarot cards for a client in need, in need of advice. Okay, let's do that. Uh, the five of swords, the wheel of fortune, and the queen of wands. 
right, let's see what it does. As an AI language model, I do not have personal beliefs about tarot cards. Well, I would also say, chat GPT, that you don't have feelings as well. But anyway, uh, however, I can provide a general overview of the symbolism. Five of Swords represents conflict, yes. Wheel of Fortune is a card that represents change, cycles, destiny, yes. Queen of Wands represents confidence, creativity, passion. Overall, these cards together may suggest that the client has recently experienced a challenging situation, but is now entering a period of significant change and transition. The Queen of Wands may be an encouragement for the client to tap into their natural strengths and creativity as they navigate this new phase in their life. That's actually not bad. Um, I'm actually not too disappointed with that. So here we've got the synthesis. Here we've got the definitions, which is kind of what I thought. I thought that the machine would spit out, you know, definitions, just this card means this, this card means that, this card means that. That's really interesting. This little bit of synthesis, that's not bad. I will say that's that's pretty good actually. Uh, I'm not I'm not going to say that that's a total disaster, but in terms of the astrology, it did not even want to have a go. Or well, I suppose I didn't ask it specifically about the astrology. I asked it generally about May 2023, but even there, it just didn't want to have a go at. Uh, giving an answer so that's really interesting it's like AI is programmed to always be right so that's quite interesting that's fascinating I've got a couple of notes here as well just quickly to say that we've got Pluto and Capricorn until we as per the Vedic system and I watched a video by Cold Fusion that was all about AI and the fact that they have pushed ahead the release of new models of AI very, very quickly recently. And I even heard from this Cold Fusion video, I'll, I'll link it below, that Microsoft has abolished its ethics department so that they could push through the release of this technology faster. Isn't that concerning? That's not a good thing at all. And one of the things in that video that I liked actually that it said was that and I, well I, I don't like that these jobs are at risk but I mean what I'm hoping you'll, you'll see what I'm hoping here that video pointed out that jobs that are at risk are in technology and finance and if you look at the people today who are the richest and the most powerful they've all come out of technology and finance and what we need now with Pluto moving through Capricorn which is abolishing old systems that we don't need and transforming the systems that we do have. What I'm hoping is that anything that requires a human touch, so anything like nursing, nurses, carers, uh, people who are looking after children, teachers, right? Anyone who's really working with the human body in a, in a significant way, uh, any healers, light workers, all these kind of professions, these should become more important. They should be valued higher and they should be rewarded more uh, going forward. So let's hope for that outcome. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, Q&A with a chat robot. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.